so guys your boy had a dentist appointment today and i am like so overwhelmed like i don't know if kids teeth just grow in like with not so strong enamel like i've done everything that i could possibly do as a parent like i even go hard like if y'all even watch me on instagram i try so hard to feed my son fruits vegetables make smoothies go to extra mile to make sure he's eating go to extra mile to make sure he's brushing blows and like i don't know but at this point i'm over it and i'm like trying to figure out other options to see if there's anything to actually build his enamel because at this point they were saying sometimes it's some things that's hereditary sometimes it's absolutely not even the parent fault some kids teeth just grow in weaker than others so we're taking it there anyways he's at the dentist right now because he's gonna have to get a filling um because of course he has a cavity and so um yeah i'm showing him like the different tools so that he won't be so scared but it didn't work he still ended up being scared the doctor talked to him but after the first like um little cleaning of his teeth he was fine and he actually got it done he got his thicker he did a great job more than what i expected when they were doing the filling he actually was laughing so i'm happy little two dentist shout out to you so we're about to go home after he gets his little tooth. so guys i wanted to get on here real quick because you know what yeah always trying to figure out things right and i just wanted to show you something so my girlfriend and i do not live together right but i just wanted to show you an example of what it looks like for us to live together these two little rascals right here won't stop fighting so give me some tips and tricks on what to do with two toddlers it's like having twins they fiend for each other but they won't stop fighting look look at this Kyra and Carter, huh? why do you fight on this iPad so much? Kyra, listen. Kyra, just leave me on my end. Look, Kyra. And then look at Princess, stressed out. She limping, y'all. Okay, Faith went to school like that. What you got on? Drip track, drip track. Okay. Don't, don't show me. Don't show me. Okay, drip check, drip check. Uh huh. Uh huh. Assemble. Yeah. <laughs> Faith did a drip check or whatever. She got a that orange shirt. All right, look at them. Still screaming. Orange shirt. For those of y'all who have twins, how do y'all do it? Let me ask y'all that. When you got twins, how do you do it? Because I'm going to tell you right now. If I had twins the same age, the same trying to milk them the what would you do with twins slap them across the face all right that was very mean no nah, that's not the way you parent guys don't listen to her if i had twins making double bottles changing double pampers doing double the work all the time i would do that for real anyways comment down in the comments below. Kyra, you like my shoes what would y'all do if y'all had twins like my shoes. be super real it's my tiger shoes. I can't. I smell like second. Guys, I like mine. My tiger shoes. Mm. Yeah. I'm recording the drama. Are you the drama? He's the drama. Oh, it's my tiger shoes. Okay. I got one rocking on my lap and one fighting over a tiger shoe. Right. Mommy. Yeah. Shut up at me. Okay, guys, nice language. No bad language. No. Sharita. Yeah. I want to name yourselves. Faith. All right, Faith. Shink. I want to name myself. Her name is Shaquana. His name is... Kalala. His name is Kalala. My name is Faith. Her name is Shaniqua. No, my name? name is Faith. What's your name? Kyra. Kyra. No, it's... My it's, name is Kalala. Kalala. Kalasha la la la. Yeah. Okay, your name Carter. Your name Kyra on it. Anyways, guys, this is this is crazy. This is fucking insane. I'm going to commit. Let me not say that. 
I'm gonna hang up and I'm gonna call you back. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna call you back. Bye. 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 So this was so fun. Mommy and me time with Cairo and I in the bath. Honestly, guys, I never had a chance to do this before. This is my first time and I'm loving it. We played patty cake. I watched them swim. We had so many good moments. I even watched them talk about how school was. Honestly, quality time was the best, guys. I highly recommend it. Except for this part where he picked up this water and spit it in my face. Oh, don't do that. Good morning, guys. First of all, it is snowing like crazy. And yeah, let me show y'all. Y'all can't really see on the camera, but it's snowing like crazy. I had a radiology appointment today for my mammogram. This is my first time taking a mammogram, and I'm nervous. I am so nervous, Jesse. Don't laugh at me. But I want Don't laugh at me, but I want So, guys, I got my mammogram done, and I'm just praying for good results. I'm a little bit nervous, but um, yeah. I actually got results, but I have to go and follow up with a specialist and like, you know, a lot of other stuff. Long story short, I'll explain that to you another time. But, um, thank God that I have some type of good, good news. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hit y'all up when I get in the car. So guys, I just wanted to show y'all that um, Jasmine um, other gift came out. If y'all know, y'all seen my last video, I got her the teddy bear that was um like, well, her mom voice. And then now I got her this chain that says mom on it. And it has her mom and her picture in the middle. I hope she like it. Um, so I'm going to take y'all to see her reaction in a few when I finish with taking my mom food shop. I hope she like it, guys. Um, I don't know. This is my first time being in a relationship with someone who lost a parental figure. And I am trying my best to be very supportive. I don't know what to do, so I'm doing whatever comes to heart, and I think that's what matters the most, um, because that's the only thing you really can do, and so I'm trying to do whatever I can to keep her uplifted, and keep her in good spirit, and keep her sane, and um, also allow her to have positive memories of her mom, so that's why I'm getting her gifts that are like good memories, and like things that she can keep close to her, to remind her of her mom every day, and to know that her mom is with her, so that's why um I'm kind of trying to get her things that she can keep it close to her. Um, so, yeah. Um, look at Cody, guys. Cody's very nosy. If you have any pets, let me know in the comments down below how do you handle your pets. Because, um, yeah, he is definitely one of a kind. He's very, 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 very playful. But he barks a lot. Like, he goes outside and he's like, like right now, he's prowling. He's looking at all these people walking. And forget about it if you see a dog he's gonna go crazy but then i also see people outside with their dogs and their dogs are very calm not paying cody no mind so i want to know if you got a dog that's calm and you can take them literally anywhere and they're like very calm cool and collective let me know what you've done to get your dog to that point because yeah i i honestly don't know so another thing yes this is one of these talking vlogs i've been doing good with posting a lot of action vlogs this one is more so talking because i'm just running errands and i'm taking care of business it's also snowing, so I couldn't really do much in the snow. Um, but I did want to talk to y'all, ask y'all for y'all advice. So I'm kind of having like a conundrum. A lot of things on my mind. So moving is one of them. But also, um, just trying to figure out like career goals. I really love cutting hair, and I think that it really soothes me. And it really makes me motivated to go to work. And it's very flexible for me because I, um, because it's my business, I am able to set my schedule around me being a mom and me being um who i need to be for my family and so with that said cutting gives me that flexibility but of course you also know that i just graduated and now it's like the bowl is rolling so i could actually get a job in the field that i want with the pay that i want but the downside to that is that it comes with a lot of demand and a lot of non-flexibility if that's even a word so with me being a single mom with and I say that word single mom because I'm not married so that means that I care for Cairo primarily by myself and so with that said me working a nine to five doesn't allow me to have that flexibility so I'm kind of nervous and I'm thinking like before I let myself down do I just wait it out and until Kyra gets a little older to like tap back into that field do I get a part-time job in that field do I go full fledged in that field and have faith and see what happens 
comment down in the comment down below in the comments down below what do y'all think like what do y'all think that i should do like what route would y'all take what would y'all do and i'm gonna see um if y'all have any like good recommendations for me because right now i'm so lost i'm lost i want to move i just want to have my own space i want cairo to have enough space he has enough space now don't get me wrong right now i live with my mom if you don't know and he has his own room. I have my own room. He has his own space. He has his own stuff, his own toys, his own TV, his own everything. The thing is, when you live in someone else's house, it just don't make you feel right. Like, it makes you feel like you want to make sure that you're doing everything right in their house, and their space, and doing everything to their liking. That said, I want to get my own place because I want to be comfortable. I want my son to be comfortable. And I also want to be able to let my son have a relationship with my mom that's a grandma relationship and if you know grandmas you know that when you go to grandma house nothing is a no like everything is a yes and because of that living with my mom has been very conflicted because everything is not a yes when you're living with your parent because your parent ultimately is the primary caregiver and want what's best for you and your health and your development and so grandparents they want what's best for your happiness and i'm not saying my mom don't want what's best for his health and all of that but she doesn't that's not the first thing she's thinking about she's thinking about his happiness so she is saying yes to everything yes to the candy spoiler him like and that's conflicting with the way i'm trying to raise him and so that's my primary reason for wanting my own space so i can raise him but then on the weekends go to grandma's house have fun turn up and so yeah but i'm gonna chat with you in a little while because carol's facetiming me right now I like the voice the music, Alexa. Look at me, yeah. <laughs> Why would you turn your head? Uh -uh. Now she don't want to get married. She was sending me the court papers on the data. Huh? What's up, baby? Now you don't want to get married. Don't try to front for the camera. Show them what you sent me the other day. I couldn't take it serious because I know you wouldn't want to get married, so I would start laughing. Yeah, I'll wait. And I would turn my head. You said, you know what? That you don't want to get married, so I Why could... you keep saying that? I don't want to get married? Yeah, I You would. know what I want to get, too. I would not be able to take it serious. Hello. I would turn my head. Because oh, uh. I know you would be Babe, I'm about to propose and she think I'm playing. Do you hear Cairo? I'm about to propose. Do you hear Cairo? What? He's saying body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. <laughs> well, he's saying that. Body, yaddy, yaddy. Body, yaddy, yaddy. Look at head. the three stooges. Body, yaddy, yaddy. Look, I'm at the propose. Body, yaddy, yaddy. It's okay, Cardi. Body, yaddy, yaddy. It's okay. Body, yaddy, yaddy. What would y'all say if I propose to her right now? That's a big thing. Right. It's a rock. I'm about to, I'm about to propose to see mom. You know what propose means? Yeah. Do you want me to propose to her? Huh? Do you know do you know what propose me? Wait, do you know what propose me? You don't know what that means? That means to marry somebody. You know what marry me? Okay. Nobody cares. My eyebrow not done, but I've been trying to fix it for so long. This guy look she's the working, so don't worry about the background. This is the workstation right now. I'm weak. I know what it is because you show me already. Oh, you ain't see it in person though. Mm. So guys, Shamil's very excited about the thing. I had to cut the camera off. Well, actually my camera died. <laughs> but I charged my phone a little bit since I know I'm about to get in the shower. I'm about to get in the shower. I hope y'all enjoyed that video though. Like, comment, subscribe, press that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments down below what y'all thought about that chain, what y'all thought about the video, and what y'all think about what I was talking to y'all about, about me moving, about me getting a new job about me focusing on my career path or what i should do you know what i'm saying but anyway i rock with y'all and i thank y'all for responding to my comments and my questions to my you know what i'm saying videos i rock with y'all i love y'all i'm about to hop in the shower i'm gonna hit y'all later i hope we talk soon see y'all k squad oh yeah let me tell y'all new intro or like coming soon trust me your girl has been grinding you know what i'm saying